Hello there guys, it's Joey. Welcome back to I Can't Witch Without, the series whereby every so often <laughs> we take a look at bits and pieces that make up a regular part of a witchy practice. And this is actually going to be a request and something slightly unusual uh, because today we're going to be looking at cosmetics and makeup, all of which are at least vegetarian, if not vegan and cruelty free. So the reason behind this video is that it was a request and I've had more than one request to sort of talk a little bit more about uh, makeup products that I use and uh, are vegan, are cruelty free, uh, things that I recommend, things I think are good and what I've actually done is put a whole plethora of things on the bed <laughs> um, and we're going to go through some recommends, some brands and talk about some good points of the brands and some not so great parts of the brands um, because it was requested that I do so. So, uh, before we jump into that, there's a few things just before. Uh, there were no videos last week, my apologies. I had migraine at the start of last week. Uh, this is because the weather in the UK is nutty, it's on a fruit loop. We've not had a real winter, here anyway. Um, we've had it so warm I could go out without a coat one day and then two days later it's snowing for half an hour and you know it doesn't settle or anything English snowing um, most disappointing I was super excited I was like finally finally snow um, yeah no <laughs> so apologies for that uh, I'm going to record this video today I may try and record the spell oil video requ the request today I'll see how we get on because the day is long and full of terrors no not really um it's, it's been crazy busy um with work and things so and I've got to get back to it back to it back to it so the I can't witch without series is usually a little bit more stereotypical witchcraft but you know a lot of us witchies both guys and girls um are interested in cosmetics and want to know how we can uphold certain values within putting our makeup on and cruelty free in this day and age should be second nature you would think. Now the major problem in cosmetics industry right now is that China still demands animal testing so companies that are kind of um, refuse to pull out of China and things are kind of blacklisted a lot of the time and you can see uh, companies that are vegan and cruelty free on the peta.org website there are other websites where you can go check them out I um, will be mentioning other websites going forward as to where you can purchase certain things from um, we're gonna go with brands and, and talk about what I like and some things that I don't like as we go through and it's mostly makeup one lot of uh, makeup brushes <sighs> and let's just get to it shall we so the first thing I, brand I want to talk about is a UK brand called Barry M and I'm sure most people have probably heard of Barry M and I will try and remember to put like little <laughs> little symbols on the screen like Barry M. So Barry M are a UK based company. They have been cruelty free since inception. Uh, they are mainly vegetarian and vegan where possible I believe. And uh, Barry M was my all-time favourite makeup brand growing up. I loved them. I loved them because they had a huge host of incredibly pigmented dazzle dusts, most of which I still own, which might be why uh, the downside of Barry M that we will get into in a minute. Um, and I absolutely adored these highly pigmented... Let's get a good one. Let's get a good one. I've got a whole host of them. There's a good one. Um, this is one of my favourites of theirs, so they're a little bit dusty. <laughs> um, so this is what the Barry M Dazzle Dust look like. This is number three. This is a rose gold. I love rose gold. And it's one of my absolute favourites of theirs throughout time. Now, unfortunately, Barry M stopped doing the mass amounts of these gorgeous Dazzle Dust that made them famous. And these days they focus mainly on nudes and sometimes their nail varnishes are a little bit more adventurous because they did go through a phase of doing all these incredible nail varnishes and they had like feather effects and crackle effects and all sorts and then that became more 
nude and uh, <laughs> I actually got so frustrated um, that like on the Facebook page I was like are you ever going to do anything that's not nude because I just was getting so irritated with the new sort of I don't know mass appeal thing um, that being said there are some of their products which I still swear by one of which is missing um, I was sure that I had grabbed it out. Uh, the concealer, the liquid concealer that they have is really wonderful for like under eyes. Um, their lip gloss, as you can see, it's well used. And this is their toffee, uh, toffee flavoured one. I'm not sure what the number is. I thought I had another one, but I can't see it. Um, I think this started out being limited edition and now it's more regular and it's a gorgeous nude. Um, and they do have some of the but the Barry M Dazzle does still in the nuder shades. Um, they're like 104, 105. Let's see. Do I have a right? That's uh, one of the Dazzle Dusts that they still do. This is a 105, and as you can see, it's kind of this doe brown nude. Um, I do like their eyeliners, their colourful eyeliners, and they have a screw, like so. Um, these are really good for eyelining and, and putting like colour over the top as well. Um, and you just, I just heat them up in my mouth a bit, like, and then um, they'll melt on. Otherwise, they can be a bit firm, but you just heat them up and they're fine. And then I bought their contouring kit at the weekend. Um, to try out. So this is what the contouring kit looks like and um, if you don't know colour correcting, not contouring, sorry, colour correcting um, and if you don't know what colour correcting is about basically it's very very strong colours that you put on the alternating colour to uh, get rid of it and before you put your makeup on. So the deep ready peachy colour is to go under your eyes so that gets rid of any blue. Um, the green is for any red on your face. Um, the purple... is for, for brightness, so if you've got any dull patches. And then this is the concealer which I was a bit worried about because it looks kind of really orangey but it's... Um, it's not. The thing that I, I mean, they've got a cute little mirror and the packaging is really cute, but these are really creamy and like when I have creamy things on my skin, because I have like an oily T-zone, this kind of, I don't know, and I was, it kind of sits oddly and it doesn't sink in and it doesn't like, I don't like cream eyeshadows for the exact same reason because it kind of all creases and stuff. So I was super excited to try this colour because I wanted to try the Becca in that colour. Um, and I'm in two minds about Becca because Becca's parent company is not good and not, but not um, cruelty free and we'll talk about that with a couple of other companies in a minute. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed that this is like super creamy and, and I can't really put it on my face because I've got a full face full of makeup, but there you go. So Barry M is kind of one of those cosmetic companies that's, I feel real brand loyalty, which is, you know, terrible, but I've been using them since I was 14, 13 even, and I've always loved them. And I was really disappointed to see them starting to get rid of all of their really bold colours. And them actually doing that is why I discovered one of my new favourite, if not my favourite, um, makeup brands now, which is Medusa's Makeup. Now Medusa's Makeup are largely in America, but you can get them on certain websites in the UK. Um, if you get $40 worth, you get free shipping worldwide. Um, so that's really good. If you're looking to like invest in a few colours and then you get up to $40 and that's just free shipping, it's just wonderful. Um, let's see if I can do this without without tipping everything everywhere. See, that's uh, my Medusa's makeup. There's quite a few <laughs> because I absolutely adore them. Um, I have one of their lipsticks, which is Sugar Daddy, which is kind of this nude color. Um, the lipsticks were a little bit less impressive. I tried one of their lipsticks, I think, and I didn't like it very much. Um, but their eyeshadows are just to die. And like, I mean, look at this, and the names are all gorgeous. This is Comet. 
And then by comparison, you have Flamingo. Medusa's makeup are completely vegan, completely cruelty free. And then you have uh, Ultra Violence, which is this grey purple shade. They've got some gorgeous shades. Um, they do have some matte eyeshadows, which I haven't tried. Mainly, I just freaking adore their Dazzle Dust. I love them so much. Desert Storm. I get complimented every time I wear one of these type of eyeshadows. And um, I have the uh, Medusa's makeup at the corner and like underneath today. So, and is that it for Medusa's makeup? Yeah. Um, so, Medusa's makeup are kind of like an indie brand, but a smaller brand a lot of people haven't heard of them and you kind of need to they're amazing um, they kind of get some bad press because a lot of people don't care for their monthly subscription boxes which I you know a lot of people don't want to try the, the unique colors so but there you go so another brand that I really wanted to try and have had uh, kind of mixed success with is sugar pill sugar pills um, cosmetics come like this um, or like this and they are vegan cruelty free and I really was super stoked to try their liquid lip in trinket I actually I don't like this on me one bit um, I'm gonna actually like firstly I don't know what's going on with this applicator whether I got a dodgy applicator or not um, so you know how certain brands in the UK, I don't know if this applies to other places, but you can't go and see them. So you kind of have to judge by the shades online and you look at a hundred different pictures and you think that would look really nice on me and then you get it and it's nothing like any of the pictures. This is why I don't own any of the Kat Von D makeup because the Kat Von D is like all um, vegan now, I think. And I really wanted to try like her Lockit foundation but I couldn't try a foundation without at least seeing a tester for shades and they're not in stores you can buy them at like Debenhams online I think it is but not in stores as the snotty um, people inform me so that's what Trinket looks like on the hand and it dries out to have like a um, a gold shimmer Now that looks okay on my hand, but when I put it on my lips, it looks really fake. Like this horrible gold layer appears and it's like, okay, that doesn't suit me at all. That was really disappointing given the hype around Trinket. And then I have two of their um, eye dusts. This one is Magpie, which I absolutely, absolutely adore, especially for like out, outer creases. Um, and this one, is paper doll which was less impressive um i was i was hoping for a really nice purple and it's kind of um as you can see uh transparent <laughs> It doesn't, it's nowhere near as pigmented as I was hoping for, especially given that Sugar Pill are, like, are supposed to be one of these big, almost pastel goth style colour brights. So Sugar Pill has kind of been hit or miss for me. I've had two products I didn't care very much for in Magpie that I love. So, And then I tried um, Neve Cosmetics, also Dazzly Dust type things, and I got Oyster and Sal and I hate them. Um, the colour was... Mm, I'm going to retry these again and try them with a um, prime. I've got some of uh, the NYX milk, which we'll talk about in a bit with the NYX stuff, um, underneath and see if that brings the colour to the fore. But when I just put these on my eyes, like with my normal sort of primer, they're just nonsense. It's just rubbish. Right. So, I also tried um, Shiro Cosmetics and they were very similar as in they didn't have a really bright colour. Um, these were all through Cute Cosmetics so this was like, three of these were in their 
uh, Hunter, um, Hunter Games. Oh my god, what's the proper name? Can't remember. Um, you know what I mean. The movie, which is completely, and books, which have gone out of my mind. And three of those were based on that, and then one was um, based on, I think, um, it was anime. Full Metal Alchemist, I think. I think this one was like, um, and they kind of based their ideas around that sort of thing. Um, again, not overly impressive, even though they were vegan. And So let's go to a company which I adore. J'adore. I love them so much, which is Lunatic Labs uh, Cosmetics. So the first thing, this is a new one because the one I have in progress is nearly used up, so that's not very impressive to look at. So this is their high definition ma mystif mystifying mattifying pressed powder. And as you can see, it looks like um, Planktiff from an Ouija board. And it opens up like that and there's the powder and it has a uh, magnet on so you can just go that far if you if you want <laughs> I'm not quite sure why you would you would you would do go that far and then put your brush in but you can if you want um, and then it has a mirror this still has the label on because it's new so as you can probably see um, my powder is translucent white yes I use a white translucent powder on my face um, because if I have much of a colour on my face I just go orange I am that pasty that I require a almost see-through pressed powder and it works really really well and I cannot live without this stuff and all of their um, packaging is super gothic super witchy super gorgeous so then they have um, three, four, four of their lipsticks, which come in the bullet casings. I have Bruja AK47 RPG and La Criminosa. Um, La Criminosa has a slightly different feel to the packaging. It's a softer, furrier packaging for some reason. Um, and it has like this brilliant, bright, purpley glow. Uh, is it RPG or AK40? Right, basically, yes, it's RP. RPG is my favourite neutral colour, and then um, AK47 is a slightly more brown shade. But these are gorgeous. I didn't tend to wear lipsticks until I discovered Lunatic Labs. Um, these, and then there is Bruja, which is a, a stone stone brownie grey brown um, it doesn't look, quite look as, as grey brown as it is um, there but it is a much cooler tone so I didn't tend to wear lipsticks until I discovered these and these are amazing amazing they're the best lipsticks that I own and then lastly from them is a palette which is unusual because I don't like palettes I tend to think that palettes are a bit overpriced for what you get and I don't tend to like half the eyeshadows and I'm so fussy and that's why I get a lot of the individual dust eyeshadows because I like my bright colours but this is Lunatic Labs and Lunatic Labs do coffin palettes and um, little bat mirror there oh look the camera and then you've got like, look at the detailing with like the uh, the moon phases and the howling wolf and, and then that's your shades. So this is the, um, I don't know what the palette is called, it doesn't say. Uh, I don't know, but the colours inside are Invocation, Myth, Spook, Reincarnation and Ghoul and Light. So, <laughs> oh, it's supernatural. I remembered because these are um, more of a, uh, a sort of neutral palette that you can use as your base. They're gorgeous. I love them. I love Lunatic Labs. They're amazing. And following closely behind are the Black Moon Cosmetics. 
liquid lipsticks um, and this is what the packaging looks like which is absolutely gorgeous I actually keep the boxes that they send and store all my makeup in them I have one of their new ones which is morning and then I have Libra and then I have Wrath um, and I gave my sister deranged which was the <laughs> which was the dark dark red because she desperately wanted it and I was like go on you have it because I'm a that I'm a big sister <laughs> big sisters will understand um, and following as well from liquid lipsticks is the makeup monsters uh, liquid lipsticks look at the packaging I think this is the new packaging with the um, cosmic unicorn on I've had stickers from them so this one is Sedona I want to try some more of their shades because a lot of the this one is Sedona. This one is Chimori Chimori Chimri Chimri Sexy Anyway, uh Chimoya, um, which is this gorgeous kind of pink colour. This is probably one of my favourites of theirs. And then, and I kept the boxes because I love the boxes so much. And then Flutter. Uh, they have the nicest formula liquid lips to put on your lips. Um, liquid lips are a bit of one of these odd things that I decided to try out because um, I've never been a big lipstick person. So the, the Lunatic Labs are, uh, you know, that's how good they are. Um, so I thought I'd try the liquid lipsticks because it's kind of halfway between and uh, these are the nicest formula so makeup makeup monsters yeah makeup monsters and they have their own website so you can get them online Ooh, three more to go oh no there's um oh okay uh, I Yes, I was going to honourable mention uh, the Brightening Peach by Pixi, um, which I use under my eyes for colour correcting. And this is way, way better than the Barry M stuff. So, quick mention to Pixi Cosmetics. Um, I did try their Milk Forum Serum on my face. That actually brought my face out bright red. So I, again, have had mixed... Um, dealings with Pixie so I've kind of not bothered getting in more after that happened because their main product lines are like facial makeup. So then I have some NARS so the founder of NARS is a vegan and um, their brand is completely cruelty free their parent company is not um, and this put me in a situation very similar to Too Faced so um, I will talk about Too Faced as well in a minute but um, the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation is the best thing I've used so far on my skin because my skin is awkward as um, it if it doesn't like anything it can go blotchy and it can go red particularly along the cheek um, and it's all kinds of awful trying to find a foundation that works and doesn't make me look orange and this is the one that works um, I got a free gift of their uh, orgasm blush which is when I got this for Christmas um, which is the most famous probably um, of their blushes it's probably what they're famous for is their orgasm line um, and it's absolutely gorgeous this was a free gift this size um, It's not showing very well because the light is kind of rubbish. Look at that though, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, I'm not a big blush person either, but this this is beautiful. Um, I also actually have two of their lip glosses. Again, they're Christmas, Christmas presents. Oh, there goes something else, which is the Super Orgasm and then the Greek Holiday, which I think are really, really nice. So Again, it's arguable as to whether or not parent companies if you should have them but currently I am going to try out a, a different foundation soon actually to see um, but it depends how you feel about parent companies and whether or not you feel that the people who have created the products are involved enough to stop um, 
the problems of their parent company interfering with their ethics, basically. So I'd actually got two from Too Faced Cosmetics, which you can get through Debenhams, but a, uh, and you can actually get them in Debenhams, I had noticed the other day. Um, this is their Better Than Sex Mascara in Waterproof, and this was their Color Drenched Le Creme in Sugar Daddy. So I've actually got two called Sugar Daddy, that's interesting, and they're quite similar in shade. Um, and it's a real shame because this is a gorgeous lipstick. Um, it has a really nice creamy consistency. It's gorgeous on the lips, but I'm not entirely sure how I feel about them selling out. Uh, so, do to go. I'm going to do NYX and then I'm going to finish with my all time favourite right now, which uh, some people will know what it is. Goth Tribe should know what it is. Okay, so NYX Cosmetics is a nice, inexpensive brand, which I got their advent calendar this year, well, last year, um, last year now, uh, to try out a few more of their liquid lips. I've had mixed success with their liquid lips. So, for example, uh, I have bought the Liquid Suede in Softly Spoken and the Lip Lingerie well that one's not too bad that one's Corset I have a lot of Nick stuff on here <laughs> I can't see where the other one is. Um, I've bought more than this though with their liquid lip lingerie. It might be actually the only one I've still got because I threw them. Because I just was not impressed with the lingeries. I didn't think the colours matched up. I thought they were kind of odd looking. I didn't like the set. And interestingly enough, uh, with the... So as you can see, I have the the little ones from the advent calendar. Now everything I tried in the advent calendar apart from the really deep purple um, which I had to buy a uh, lip liner for really looks quite nicely. I think they work a lot better with a lip pencil. Um, and if, by the way, I've completely forgotten to mention but the best tools that I've ever found that are vegan and uphold all the values are the eco tools. So there's a, a brush. and. I have just found that they've just started doing a sponge. So I haven't even unpacked that yet. So I grabbed one of their sponges. This is some of the lip liners. Um, this is one of their soft lip liners. The soft ones are much, much better. Um, they have a lovely, well, you know, soft application, creamy application, and it's really nice. I've also got some of their jumbo lip pencils, which are okay um the iris was pretty nice um the iris one but my favorite liquid um uh, my sorry my favorite lipsticks from them are actually um the ones that aren't liquid lip and uh, the best one is the one i got on today which i've got on as well as the orgasm gloss is the rosebud from nyx and because they're so inexpensive, it means you can have a play with these um, and they work really quite well to have, you know, you can have a play and see which ones you like. Um, I've also been testing out their jumbo eye pens. Now, interestingly enough, I think it's that one. Yeah, right. So the two that I want to mention particularly uh, this one is the Strawberry Milk. Now, I've actually been using this with um, my sort of holographic unicorn lips and with a, a lip that I'm going to show you in a minute as kind of like a, a liner, and that works best with that. And then this is Milk, which works absolutely amazingly like under eyeshadow to make eyeshadow stick and pop. So, there you go. NYX Cosmetics, inexpensive. The only problem in the UK is that, to my knowledge, and as far as I have thus far seen, you can only get them online in Boots um, and other places that stock on online. You can get them through Amazon and things like that, usually. Um, oh, 
and I did get um, this eyeshadow from NYX which I absolutely adore called Mermaid and it's one of their prismatic shine this I adore this is gorgeous so NYX tends to be hit or miss and because you can't go and test them it you know it gives a real issue with I can't go test them so I don't know if I like it and I don't know what the shade actually looks like and that's a real problem with a lot of vegan quality free brands is that the only place you can get them is online so lastly not leastly is my absolute favorite um, my absolute absolute favorite is Urban Decay I've been using their black velvet glide on eye pencil for quite some time quite a number of years it's gorgeous I have it on here I won't use anything else it's just perfect it just it's perfect for a black eyeliner it's perfect it, it is glide on no pulling of the eye or anything like that then I have two of their eyeshadows this is the moon dust zodiac look at the packaging urban decay you sexy bastards and this is a deep green prismatic eyeshadow that I absolutely adore I was wearing this the possibly the last video I made the one where I got a few compliments on my eye color and then this I got at the weekend before last or before I can't remember I've got it on here and this is tonic and for goth tribe this is kind of like the eyeshadow asphyxia for Miss Jen look at that and asphyxia and play are two of the lipsticks the vice lipsticks Ooh. because these and uh, the lunatic labs firstly the packaging on this girl is so gorgeous now oh no you can't i don't know if you'll be able to see this it has the little ud Princess on the lipstick so that's plague um plague is like my perfect purple i wanted a purple that would really work on the lip and plague is it plague is gorgeous the vice lipsticks mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. and then this is asphyxia which is kind of a dupe for the two-faced unicorn tea um it's gorgeous. I'm actually going to swatch this one because it is so pretty. Look at that. 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 Oh, no, look. <laughs> so Urban Decay is more expensive um, than say Unix. The Unix products are going to be like in the £5, £6, £7 price range per item. Whereas uh, most of the time, although I have tended to scour the sales, um, for the Urban Decays. These tend to be about 12, 13 pounds a lipstick. Um, it's, it's in the third, 12, 13 to 15 pound a product range, um, depending on what the product is. Obviously your palettes are gonna be a bit more. Um, and they do the naked palettes as well, of course, for which they're famous, but I just don't want any more nudes. I seem to end up with enough nudes, even though I don't care for them as it is. So the Urban Decay is a little bit more expensive. The Lunatic Labs you can get online. You can also get them at attitudeclothing.co.uk um, along with a couple of other websites. The Cute Cosmetics is a good one for vegan cruelty free if you're living in the UK. Uh, Medusa's Makeup you can buy directly from them. Uh, NARS you can get them in you know, you pretty much everywhere. They have their own website obviously. Um, they're also available in places such as House of Fraser I think and definitely Debenhams. Um, you know, the, the, the big the big places. I don't know what that means at all. Um, Sugar Pill have their own website. They are also available through the Cute Cosmetics. Barry M have their own website. I'm not sure about the US, but I'm pretty sure you can buy them to the US. I'm pretty sure there are places you can get them. Uh, I'm not sure about if Eco Tools for the makeup brushes. Um, let's just show a few different ones. A few different ones. Uh, I can get them in Tesco, um, so they are sort of all over the place. And given that they have, you know, good ethical uh, biodegradable, not plastic based, 
True Eco Alternative, so eco. So there you go, Eco are available in Tesco's. I don't know where else they are, probably all over the place, probably boots and all sorts. I get them in Tesco though. And I think that's about it. So I said I would do it and I have done it. I have covered some of the cruelty free <laughs> makeup products. I'm sorry if you're not into makeup, but I was like, I need something lighter. I need a lighter video to start getting back into the swing of making videos again after a week off uh, of not feeling great. So I was like, let's have a lighter video. Let's have some fun. Let's talk about makeup. Some people don't care. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know what the matter with me is either. I'm just on a weird back to camera high. Enjoy that or not, you know, whichever. Many blessings.